Microsoft aggressively transfers users to the Edge browser, now you can't delete its shortcut. Mega Corporation Microsoft aggressively promotes its new Edge browser, for which it is tightly integrated into the Windows 11 operating system. It is not possible to remove it in the usual way, you can only remove it manually or with third party software. Thus, Edge is a necessary component of the Windows 11 operating system. Even to download and install a third party web browser, you will need to open Edge at least once. The calculation is based on the fact that the user will be too lazy to do this and will remain on the Microsoft browser. And this policy has already begun to bear fruit, Edge recently took the second place in popularity among users, overtaking Mozilla Firefox and Apple Safari. But Chrome is still very far away, because the brainchild of Sergey Brin occupies more than 60% of the market. However, Edge shares common roots with Chrome, using the Chromium engine for its work, and making the browser from Google a worthy competitor. In fairness, it should be noted that the new built-in Windows browser performs its functions well, is quite stable and has all the necessary functionality. And the annoying promotion of its users is also understandable, because it is much more convenient to carry out telemetry of citizens, monitor what resources they visit, what they buy and then targeted advertising is not a sin to give. Recently, even the Edge browser shortcut from the desktop has stopped being deleted. Rather, the label is deleted, but after a while it reappears with enviable persistence. This circumstance occurs regardless of whether Edge is the default browser, or the user does not use it at all. Whether this behavior is a bug or a feature, Microsoft does not report. It is only known that it does not manifest itself in all users. And presumably one of the new browser updates is to blame for the non-removal of the shortcut, because no such problems were previously detected. Evil tongues claim that the label was deliberately pinned to the desktop, as part of another advertising campaign from Smallsoft once. If you go deeper into history, then this behavior of Bill Gates' company already took place back in 1995 with the release of the Internet Explorer browser. At the time of the release of the first version of E, a fair share of the market was occupied by the popular Netscape browser at that time. To lure Netscape users to its platform, Microsoft delivered the Internet browser along with Windows absolutely free of charge, claiming that it is part of the operating system. Agreements were signed with major US providers to promote an advertisee, and include the browser in their services. Which, of course, created unfair competition for other browsers. But the American justice system did not agree with this state of affairs, and in December 1997, District Judge T. Jackson banned Microsoft from supplying the Windows operating system with built-in E. This was followed by various appeals to higher courts, lobbying for Microsoft's interests, and after a while the ban was lifted. Netscape Communicator was expected to lose customers and later the management of Netscape decided to create an open-source browser, for which the Mozilla Organization Development Group was formed. In 2008, work on Netscape Communicator was completely curtailed, and developers completely focused their efforts on the free Mozilla Firefox. Only time will tell whether Microsoft's Edge browser will be able to take a leading position in the market. It is still very far from its main competitor, Google Chrome.